The environment, or more properly environmentalism, robs people of their judgment. I'd look for the first illustration of this in the recent press conference of the government's star performer, the Environment Minister John Baird. He actually stood up in front of the cameras and asked, how many Canadians does it take to change a light bulb? Are we saving the planet here or recycling the great B material of third-rate comedians? The punchline, and I'm being generous, to his own stale setup was even, if that's possible, lamer. How many Canadians does it take to change a light bulb? Every one of us. The every one of us part came out with all that intense piety that only recent conversion to a good cause and the very best public relations advice can muster. Almost on the same day, the Ontario Environment Minister managed to be even less funny than John Baird. Laurel Broughton, perhaps under the impression that the position of an Ontario minister is something of a tryout for a job as rap show host, or under the devastating illusion that to be environmentally persuasive, one has to be hip, announced the Flick Off campaign. The campaign has a cute website. You can visit it yourself if the Ontario government has had the silliness to leave it up, in which, by clever manipulation of the fonts, Flick Off is made to read very much like a rather more familiar and much more intense Anglo-Saxon injunction favored by street gangs, Quentin Tarantino scripts, hockey thugs, and gutter mouths everywhere. Just in case you didn't get it, in addition to Flick Off, Minister Broughton offered the cutesy variations, are we flicked? and go flick yourself. It's all for the planet, of course. Such lapses in judgment could hardly spring from such mundane matters as filling in potholes or trying to end traffic jams or working out a consistent policy, say, on Afghanistan prisoners. And it's all about light bulbs in both cases. In the first instance, the national conservative government has inserted itself between you and the next 40-watt bulb you buy. Imagine that, a Tory government taking you by the hand to the convenience store. Do they have any advice on toasters, I wonder? In the second case, what the Ontario minister in her juvenile, vulgar manner is suggesting is nothing more than what your parents have more politely told you for ages anyway. When you leave a room, please turn the light off. Waste not, want not, how unfashionably prudish they were. Meantime, down in the States, just to take one example from a hundred, green activist Cheryl All I Want to Do is Have Some Fun Crow, who travels from state to state in a rock star convoy with only a few less vehicles than were called up for the D-Day invasion, is urging people to use just one square of toilet paper when they, how shall I put this, tend to their cleanliness in the deep privacy of the bathroom stall. I don't know if Cheryl has really thought this through. Universal constipation would seem to be her logical, though unlikely, next project. In the great competition to be greener than green, more precisely in the now almost universal passion to be seen to be green, politicians and celebrities drift ever more towards meaningless symbolism, outright folly, vulgar excess, and downright irrationality. How many squares did you use today? Well, how many Canadians does it take to change a light bulb? Well, a damn sight fewer than it took to come up with that lame line. Or the Go Flick Yourself campaign. For The National, I'm Rex Murphy.